You know, I told myself I wasn't going to do this review. I honestly told myself I was not going to do this review at all. This is going against everything I set this particular channel up to be. You know, this Lush loves his craft beer, but by request, I get to look at this. Yes, folks, that's Milwaukee's best. I'm going to unleash the beast today. Now, look, guys, this beer, you know what it is. You've seen it on the shelf at any gas station in America. You know, when I look at a beer like this, it, I got to throw out any ratings, any reviews. Now, first thing I got to ask myself, okay, is it a beer? Is it an ale? Is it a lager? Well, for me personally, this beer falls under none of those categories. It falls under what I call, and a lot of people call, a malt beverage. And in my opinion, based what that is, is they're using sugar, corn, corn syrup, or molasses as a base. It's a malt. Now, with that being said, I got to base these type of beverages on some categories. Now, number one is portability. Now, you can look back at the can. It's very portable. I mean, you get them in cases. I've seen those stupid 40-ounce plastic bottles. And I don't know why they whipped it at because it made no sense. I mean, a lot of ways you can get it. The second thing I look at is drinkability. And basically what that means is how fast you can get jacked up on it because it's a said malt beverage. And the third one, and it's an odd one for me, is morning aftertaste. And I'm not talking about hangover. I'm not even talking about that. Because you lushes know full well what I'm talking about when I talk about that. How do it, how do it taste after you wake up the next morning? Now, um, as I open this up, and I literally just opened this up, you know, it pours all right. I mean, I mean, you get a little bit of head on there. It's nice. I mean, it's nice. It's clean. No complaints there. I can see very little carbonation. Now, now, um, you can definitely taste this is not your normal beverage. I mean, for me, I can t I can smell the sweetness in it, and that's why I was saying earlier about malt beverages. Now, when I now when I talk about the morning aftertaste, I mean, for me personally, I get that chalkiness taste. And I like to know your comments on that also if you drink this beverage. Now, you probably already know where this is going on the Chocobrew scale, but. Yeah, this is for people who's in a pinch who want to get blasted fast, and I mean fast. And uh, what can you say? Yeah, they call it the beast because for a lot of people, it's the beast, and then my friends call it Milwaukee's worst. And let me tell you something, I've tasted a whole lot worse out of Milwaukee than this. Now, in all honesty, and I'll be fair, I've tasted worse beers than this off the shelf. So, oh, now you get that skunk smell now. And that's another thing with this beer. This beer, you just can't let it sit around for more than two minutes before you drink it. And I honestly think that was by design. So in all in all, throwing your normal ratings out, this beer gets one chocobo. I'll be fair and give it one chocobo. I can't give it a half or no chocobo because I have had worst. Now, this Lush is going to sign off and try to drink this, but see this in a gas station near you.